Oh, that's a cute one. The church has been so welcoming to us, um, not just our kids, but they love us too. Oh my. Leave it on, Belle. We realized there are a lot of families who adopted Korean kids, so we just want to be good friends with them, and we organized this ministry. For six years now, Virginia Yang and others from Nashville Korean United Methodist Church in Brentwood, Tennessee, have hosted a family celebration to share native Korean culture with adopted children and their parents. Church members demonstrate Korean games and painting techniques. Your sister, your son, right? Mm. Yep. Offer a chance to try on traditional clothing. Kind of like this and sample favorite foods. So look, doesn't it look good? They have like the little rolls like you like. John Stanley was born in Korea and adopted by a U.S. family. He never had much immersion in his native culture growing up. John and his wife want to embrace these experiences with their four-year-old adopted Korean daughter. Uh, having adopted the child myself, it's uh, made me realize even more uh, that you know being Korean is really part of my DNA as is being adopted, and it's something uh, I'm very proud of and something that we talk much more about as a family than my parents do. Sunsil Danner was also adopted from Korea and has an adopted daughter. The whole Danner family enjoys trying new foods and music. I know they've done some Taekwondo, and it's, I just like them to just know a little bit of where I came from and then to where Ben, our daughter, where she came from. Jill Clements, whose two sons are Korean, says the church is filling a void for families who have no other way to connect with Korean culture. <laughs> we get to learn the language and the food and the dances and the Taekwondo and all that stuff. It's really neat. It's, it's a cool opportunity for us also. The best thing they said, like they, they had a like, good relationship and a friendship with us, and they were very impressed by our hospitality. You know, one of the reasons why we felt more comfortable uh, with this event is that we knew that it was affiliated with the United Methodist Church, uh, and you know, the United Methodist Church is one that we belong to since uh, we were married. So the United Methodist Church is really part of who we are. And then school mom is hope, hope. <laughs> and um, Haram is love. Organizers encourage other churches to consider reaching out in this way, to touch families and build ties in their community. What makes um, the success for this event is to form a friendship. Friendship, okay, that lasts like lifetime. One, two, three. <laughs> this video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through World Service Donations.